Hello friends. Welcome to my new Glassfish application server tutorial series video. Today, I will teach you, how to start, stop Glassfish application server through command prompt and NetBeans. Friends. Glassfish server provides an application server for the development and deployment of Java EE applications. In my previous tutorial, I have installed Glassfish server at the path. G drive, Glassfish 4. Let's open the folder. Inside Glassfish 4 folder, there is a bin folder. This folder has all the batch files for Glassfish server. It contains batch files to start, stop Glassfish server. Let's move ahead and run these batch files to start Glassfish server. Open command prompt. Browse to folder having these batch files. Here, I will browse to G drive Glassfish 4 folder, and then to bin folder. In order to start Glassfish server, you can see there is a batch file by name, asadmin. Let's run a command using asadmin command. The command to start Glassfish server is asadmin start dash domain domain1. Friends, after installing Glassfish server, it creates a default domain by name, domain1. Press enter. It executes the command. It displays information that server has started, and admin port is 4848. Let's move ahead to new browser window and open Glassfish admin console. Type URL as localhost colon 4848. It opens Glassfish admin console. Thus, it starts Glassfish server successfully. Now let's go back and see how to stop Glassfish server. The command to stop Glassfish server is asadmin stop dash domain domain1. This command stops Glassfish server. Let's refresh browser window. As server is stopped, it displays message, this web page is not available. There is also yet another way to start and stop Glassfish server. NetBeans IDE comes with Glassfish integrated. Let's start NetBeans, and see how we can start and stop Glassfish server from there. Go to Window menu, select Services. Services tab opens. Go to Servers list. Open the Servers list. It has Glassfish server integrated to it. If not, you can see my previous tutorial, on how to integrate third-party server with NetBeans. Right-click on Glassfish server and select Start. Thus, it starts Glassfish server. Let's move ahead to new browser window and open Glassfish admin console. Type URL as localhost colon 4848. It opens Glassfish admin console. Thus, it starts Glassfish server successfully. Now let's go back and see how to stop Glassfish server. Right click on Glassfish server and select stop. It stops Glassfish server. Let's refresh browser window. As server is stopped, it displays message, 
this web page is not available. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to start, stop Glassfish application server through command prompt and NetBeans concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.